Okay, archiving, deleting, and trash. So in a list here, if I complete a task, it will be hidden. But there's a button up the top here, show closed, where I can still see that task. So completed tasks are still in lists. They're completely there, even though they're sometimes hidden just to make your view simpler. So if we want to take things a step further, we can actually archive them. So to archive uh, anything, here we can right click on this task and go to archive. You can also access that from the three dots here and then archive. So that's archiving a task. You can also archive whole lists, folders, or spaces. And it's very similar. We go to the three dots and we can hit archive. Archives up the top here. Now archive tasks are still searchable. So if I go into search here and type in task A, I can still find it. It just shows that it's been archived. So archive tasks are still there and always accessible, but they don't show. Uh, so there's two ways of seeing things that are archived. One is we can filter for them. And I'll go into filters later, but I'll just show you this one first. So we can go into our filter here and say archived is archived. And so now we're only seeing archived tasks, which is task A. Also on our sidebar, which is what you need to do for uh, archive lists, folders, or spaces, we can go to this uh, settings cog up the top and say show archived. So now we can see archived spaces. And it looks like I have a couple there that I've archived previously. Uh, also, if we had an archive list, let's say we archive this list too, that would still show up. And if we want to hide archived items, we can simply hide them again. Okay, archived items can be restored at any time. We simply unarchive them. So in this uh, task A, I'll go unarchive, and now it's back in our regular list. Now this actually whole list is archived. I'm currently viewing an archive list, and so I can just unarchive that whole thing. And now it pops back up. And if I go show closed, task A is there. It's all unarchived. Okay, a step further than that is deleting things. Very much the same process. You can right click here and delete a task. You can also do that to a list folder or space. Delete there. You can also delete lots of other things. We can delete views. We can delete um, custom fields, uh, tags, chats, docs, all sorts of things. Deleted items go to the trash and are held there for 30 days. After that, they're permanently gone and cannot be restored. So to see the trash, we we'll go into our settings down the bottom here and into trash. If you are not an admin, so this account I'm on now is not an admin, you'll only see what you personally have deleted. And you can restore what you personally have deleted. Admins will see everything that's been deleted and they can restore what anyone has deleted. Up the top over here, we can filter uh, and just click on the three dots here to restore something. Now, the things that will go to trash as any tasks, lists, folders, or spaces that you've deleted, but also custom fields, tags, chats, docs, doc pages, and form views. They all go into trash. So depending on what your company has decided to do, most people simply complete tasks and are happy with it being hidden. But if you do want to get things further out of the way, you can either archive them or delete them. Before you go, I've got something for you. After using ClickUp for a while, you'll find that it starts to get cluttered hard to use, and things can start falling through the cracks, even if you set it up really well. And that's nobody's fault, it just happens. Cars need checkups to keep them running smoothly, and so does your ClickUp. What I have for you is the instruction manual on how. It's called the ClickUp Checkup, and it's a checklist of the things you need to do every one to three months that will prevent a whole swath of issues um, that start cropping up after you've been using ClickUp for about a year or so, sometimes sooner. So with it is a training video where I go through each of the checks myself so you can see exactly how I do it and why a PDF with the checklist and quick reference instructions, and finally a ClickUp task template. So you can instantly import all that directly into your ClickUp, have it occur each month or quarter um, with the checklist ready to go. Click the link in the description to get it now and prevent the headache of having the clarity you wanted from ClickUp turn into confusion. I'll see you on the inside.